Hello, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be working on a quick portrait painting. It's going to be small and I'm going to try to get it done within an hour. One hour. So let's see, it's 9.44 right now. See if I can get it done in an hour. Okay, try this again. <laughs> so welcome to my studio. I'm gonna try to do a quick portrait painting today. It's gonna be done in one hour. Doing it right here on this small canvas. Small panel, I guess I should say. And see if I can get this started. I'm going to be using a limited palette. Oh, I don't have my stuff. I need my stuff. Can you hear okay? It's not working. <laughs> these things ready. Start out quick, quick little sketch. Doing a portrait that I've done a couple times before. I've done this one already a couple times, but it's good practice. Do it again. You can hear okay, good. No, I cannot hear you. Only reading chat. I do not have all of my nice conveniences that I have on Twitch. I don't have a bot. I don't I pretty much don't have anything that I usually have on Twitch. So this is very much a different situation. <laughs> so I'm going to start getting the outline of her face in place where I kind of want her face to be. Or the shapes of her face. And basic oval of her face to be. Well, if I, if I decide to keep live streaming on YouTube, uh, a lot more research will have to be done to figure out if I can do the things that I do on Twitch. <laughs> I actually have to read messages. Very unfortunate. <laughs> so if I can actually get this painting done in an hour, uh, That'll be a testament to being able to read chat and do a painting in an hour. So I probably would have actually been able to get it done. I think this actually needs to be a little lower. I probably would have been able to get it done in less time if I wasn't having to read chat. Where's my... God, it's not in their usual place. I need to get a new roll of paper towels. This one's kind of messed up. It's got glue on the bottom. So I'm just going to do a quick little erase. That eyebrow. A little bit too high. Quick erase. Again.
Oh, no. It actually got glue all over it. I spilled some, spilled a jar of glue on my studio, and it went everywhere and destroyed my paper towels because the bottom, the bottom is all glued. So, no dog chewing. It's just got glue on the bottom. Like a, a new paper towel sealant. Trying to figure out the ratios of the space here. Had another model come yesterday. Excited about those pictures. I didn't get a ton of pictures, but I think she's gonna come again. Fun. Slightly darker colors now. My darks in place. There. Just doing really basic shapes at first. Okay. Looks like it'll be an awesome painting. Well, thanks. Kiss my art. See, you never know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they can go in a bad direction. Gotta pay attention. Not always easy. My best. When I'm live streaming. My some of my audience from Twitch will hopefully be joining us today. They know. Sometimes things go. A little bit south on occasion. Never know. It's gonna happen. Alright, so I'm gonna start getting in the rest of the I think I have a good basic shapes going on here. Not super happy with the way I've got the nose in. I'm gonna move this dark over. Their nostril. place and get for the nose. Okay, it's a little bit darker. So pointless boob, have you got anything ready for the Art Star contest? So just so you guys know, every month I am doing a, a little art share, art contest where we're all going to vote um, for who's the winner. And if you'd like to enter, you can check out information about it on my Patreon. We have a theme each month. This This month's theme is... Empowering women, whatever that means to you. And the deadline is in two days. Two days is the deadline for the Art Star. And so if you're the winner, win one of these super cool, super cool Art Star pins. Do it! I believe in you! 
There we go. You have to win one of those if if everybody votes you. It's uh, people's choice. I have no say in who wins. I let the voters decide. Gets to have the art star, and anybody can vote. Vote is open to all. Exciting. Had a good one last month. We're just getting started up, so we only had a couple of entries, but it was a very close vote. Neck and neck, most of the month. But right at the very last day, we had one more vote come in. The decider. Very exciting. Riveting, even. It's not even a quarter of the way done. Oh, well, you've got a lot of work to do then. You're going to end up submitting it totally unfinished? Well, at least you'll have something submitted. If you're the only one, then you may be, by default... The winner, I haven't heard anything from MCHOV this month, so I don't know if she's going to enter anything. And then we've got Marnice was going to enter last month, but she, she didn't, I guess. She enters. I'm using a limited palette on this one. I'm only using three colors and white. I'm using Alizarin Crimson, Burnt Sienna, and Raw Umber. I had to see what this would look like with very limited colors. They're mostly warm colors. I did one in blue previously. So, a little bit warmer. And okay, so I like to get the the darks in first. My go to if you're sort of staring at the canvas, wondering what to do, the darks first. Good starting point. Get more of a mid color going. So I'm going to take a little bit of my white and my burnt sienna. Thin this out a little bit. Start getting some of these values in. Usually I do a brown first, like a base color first. I, this canvas was already slightly colored, so I didn't do it, but it's a bit too white. To fill that in. I think it's really nice when you're working on portraits to have that sort of middle color already in place. It really helps the face take shape 
sooner, much faster. An eye on the time. I'm trying to figure out a timer. I'd like to get some kind of little timer that'll beep like every 20 minutes or something so I can keep track of the time. But have that ready for today. Noses are always tricky. Oops. Wrecked. A lot going on in a nose. They're sort of like ears. Lots of little information happening in a small area. a little bit brighter. Hey, holy red heifer, how's it going? Thanks for being a fan hear from you all the way across the pond. Oh wait, no, Canada. That's not across the pond. <laughs> all the way from up north. It sounded like a English location. All right, where else do we need some lights? We need a little bit of light here on the chin. We need a little bit more lights on the nose. Yeah, I don't know where Sussex, New Brunswick, Canada is. I have definitely never heard of that location. Fun to hear from people around the world. We don't have any music today because I'm not really sure what the music policy is uh, with YouTube. I didn't. I didn't think about it ahead of time. I should have prepared better for music. Usually on Twitch I have music, but I didn't really know. I figure I'd have to get some copyright free music for YouTube and I just didn't have that didn't have that ready. So well I do this again. I definitely look into getting some music. But for today, you just have to listen to me chatter about my painting. But I'm pretty excited about the direction that things are going for my bigger projects. I have a new large, larger painting getting started. If you haven't seen my museum show video, you should definitely check that out. That was super fun. What else is going on? Just been having some models come over. I have another model coming, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So I'm gathering reference material to embark on my next series. So, which is it's just kind of an offshoot of my light series. Well, I'm getting really excited about that. Glad to have the motorcycle show away. So, 
work on what's next. The next stuff. Some of this color. of middle value basically everywhere let's check out what color that is forehead is a little bit bigger but one of the things when you're doing portraits, now with these, doing a quick study, how far are we in? I'm about 20 minutes in. I'm going to need to speed it up a little bit, I think. I'm trying to get this one done in an hour. And one of the things with, when you're doing portraits, obviously you want it to look like the person. And I think that that takes definitely a lot, a lot of practice. And so with these quick studies, I'm not really going for a likeness. I'm just going for a face so that you know really quickly in one hour I can get a face put together and start to learn the shapes you know even so if I was going to do a portrait of the same person this would be practice getting to know the ratios of her face and the shapes of her face A little bit more done on the eyes here. Oh, one of the nice things, nice things about doing a limited palette is usually the way that I work is I'll have a bunch of different brushes. And the nice thing about limited palette is I can usually get away with using one brush for the whole painting. You may want different size brushes, like when I get to the background or the hair. I might switch to a larger brush. For the most part, I'm gonna use the same, same brush. So I'm really just going back and forth. Values, really changing color very much. Guys working on some art right now. Hopefully you're able to do some art with me. So just a quick quick look at my palette. All the, the all the color that I've made so far, and I have also that color going on. in more darks eye socket you're painting too that's awesome pointless boob you're working on your well you're working on your entry for the art star contest
Minnesota, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. My YouTube stream, you think it looks great? That's good. We'll see, I'm missing a lot of the, uh, missing a lot of the conveniences that I usually have when I stream on Twitch. So I gotta figure out how to get those functioning, if I can, over here. Or if that's possible. It'll take more research, setup time, trying to figure that stuff out. We'll see if I can make it happen. That would make it a little bit more comfortable for me to stream on YouTube. Get some of those those things going. Hope you're doing well, Minnesota. How's the weather up there in Minnesota? We were starting to have some warmer weather here, but suddenly it's raining again. More normal for the Pacific Northwest. Dark eyebrow. That's one of the darkest places on her face. I want to keep that nice and dark. Dark under her eyes. In a little bit more. Been around 40 the last week. Winter storm warning. Hmm. It was about 40 last night here. But I think by Wednesday we're supposed to be up into the 60s. which is exciting. I'm gonna try to get myself to head out to the tulip fields. What's going on with the tulips? April is tulip season. So I like to go out and go to these big fields they have where you can go and walk around and walk among the tulips. So beautiful. Enjoy it. And I think I'm going to try to do some art while I'm there. We will see if we can make that happen. If it's warm enough, certainly we'll try. And I'll get to bring Althea too. I like it. He always likes the tulip fields. Fun and warm. Likes to lay down in the mud, so I have to give her a bath. Sure.
We had quite a catastrophe with Althea yesterday. I was visiting a friend who has a little private dock on the river. And so we like went down the ramp to the dock and it had a one of those like boat house, boat garage things. And on one side of it, there was like this teeny little ledge between the building and the water. And Althea went out on it and she, you know, I was like, stop, don't go, don't go. And she like stopped and turned around and she was going to turn around to come back towards me and she fell in. She fell in the freezing cold river. And I had to reach down and grab her out. So of course I got soaked. Completely soaked and freezing. Very dramatic. What are you gonna do with these dogs? The dogs. I know, poor Althea. I think I tried to stream from the tulip fields, but I don't think the service was good enough there. I think I, I might have done a little check-in. when. Oh, I think I did, I remember a couple years ago, I did a periscope from the tulip fields, but uh, service isn't super good. And I think that was before I had like real stream, you know, capabilities. So I couldn't go for very long, but I did do a little, a little quick check-in sort of periscope video. That was back when they had my favorite tulips. They haven't had the last couple of years. I think they retired them or something. Yeah, that was, that was a couple of years ago. I'm pretty bummed I couldn't do a live stream from the museum show in Daytona, but um, there, the building, I guess whatever was up with the building was too, you know, didn't get any service. Like, as soon as you walk inside the museum, boop, your phone is dead. Like, there's no service at all. So, didn't even get text messages. I think the planet going into that museum. Sort of. Leaving civilization, I Pretty cool. They had so they had some fun like sciencey stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't even have enough time to check out the whole museum. They had um, one building that was just for paintings, and that was like a whole separate building. And I went and checked that out, and it was all like Florida artists. Pretty interesting. So it was all a bunch of landscapes of Florida swampy sort of pictures and palm trees lots of palm trees it really kind of made me want to paint a palm tree because some of them were so elegantly painted firing but i wasn't there for very long so i didn't really get a chance to do much sightseeing hotel was pretty expensive Day, as long as I would have liked. I probably would have liked to have at least one other, one more day. Plus, I had to get a dog sitter, so it's kind of hard to travel when you have a dog. I need to finish these eyes. Going on the eyes.
Tape under the lips here. A little more work in the eyes, I think. Bring in some darks. Really define crevices. This uh, raw umber is really nice and dark, and I prefer it to black. Warmer. Dull effect on other colors. A little bit too big there. That up. Got the crazy eyes now. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this velvet yesterday. She has a really nice, elegant face. I feel like I'm getting closer to Oh, my new, I have all these ideas in my head and I'm getting closer to being able to paint them. <clears throat> Light middle color. Okay. So one thing to watch out for, like with this eyeball, it looks like she's kind of got her eyes like really wide. So we want to make sure that the lid kind of sits right on top. Dark. Did. One thing I really like about this model is she has really big eyes. It actually makes it a lot easier going on. See, what time is it? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Work a little bit faster.
That's why it's good to have the timer. If you're definitely trying to do a one hour painting without going over, it's good to have a timer to help you keep track of how far in you are. Really to keep better track. That's actually kind of a timer. I should see how long this goes for. I think if I do three rounds of the camera, an hour, it might be an hour and 15. I don't remember exactly now. I have it set at. Finding shapes out of the face. That cheek looking three dimensional. Started noodling around too quickly. Details. Time. The good thing about working quickly with a time limit gets you to make decisions faster and you kind of have to keep moving on. You can't get too stuck. Details. Slightly more dark. Obviously, you want the nostril to be darkest. Yeah. Whole. Cavern.
Same thing with the crease of the mouth. So between each stroke, when I'm stepping back, I'm wiping off my brush to try to get the previous color off so it doesn't interfere with what I'm about to do next. Especially if I'm changing from a light color to a dark color. Everything clean. chin so with these studies you don't really have to worry about the background too much um, I do have the model on a dark background so it is nice to put in a little bit of that give a feeling of place but like with this blue one I didn't do I just did the, the base color that I started with and I think it detracts but again these are studies they're not meant to be Masterpieces. And you know, working with a time limit to be a little bit right word, a little bit gentler on your on yourself and your skill working quickly. That's the effect masterpiece I mean you know eventually you might get there and make some really amazing studies I certainly have seen them but ultimately this practice will help get to bigger paintings you know like I said doing a study of the face that you're planning to do a larger portrait of helps you learn the shapes kind of prepare you for when you go into a final piece. little bit lighter. I have to clean off my brush a little bit better. From a really dark to a light. That's another reason if you want to save a little bit of time you can use two different brushes. One for dark colors, one for light colors. I often do, but today. And two brushes I guess.
just an idea of background. Can you guys hear the brush scratching on the wood? Gumball. This helps bring everything forward. Oh, you can't hear it? I'll have to scratch harder. <laughs> I think uh, I was recording the other day for the video, and my microphone seemed to be really quiet. So I'll check my check my settings again. Seems like every time I update, it changes the settings. Really frustrating. Trying to figure out what's going on. Why isn't my microphone working? Room on the bottom. Going. Tough to get the bottom on this. Uh, so I have this like two by four here to keep the painting up a little bit higher. And it makes it really difficult to paint the bottom of the canvas. You can see you can see on this one pretty clearly that I didn't I didn't paint the bottom at all. I just left it. <laughs> it's challenging to get the brush in this little crevice. Bottom edge, the better. All right, all right. Now, hair. Still not super happy with those eyes, though. I think I can do a little bit more defining on this eye hair for the last. A little bit more. Getting those shapes of the wrinkles and the folds of skin.
Eyes are an important part of person. Don't look right. Mess up the works. That's what everybody looks at. Everybody looks right towards those eyes. Those real eyes. Uh, in my painting strip from the tube, I am using a medium. This, this is oil paint, so I'm using an oil as my medium. Don't ever paint straight from the tube. most important part of eyes to get the highlight. I always do that last in case if you ever need to change the shape of the eye or move it around or something. You don't want to have a white spot in the middle of it or, you know, wherever the highlight is going to be. So I always save that for the very last thing. And it's amazing how that really can. No, oh, I don't want to make it. I don't want to dirty up another brush. Get this to a point. Edge. Are you an oil painter as well? Or firing? I'm still an aspiring oil painter. We can all be firing at the same time. I'm just aspiring to be a lot better. Yep. Okay. All right, let's do some hair. Didn't those highlights make such a big difference there on the nose, or I mean on the eyes? Nose, I said nose because I'm thinking nose. Thinking a bit more. A bit more highlights right on this ridge. I think I'm about out of time for my time limit.
So we'll do a quick, really quick air. All oh, finished. Going in with a mix. Burnt sienna, white, a little bit of alizarin crimson. Shapes, covering up the background. I'm not as concerned at the bottom since it is a study, but this side part is the big shapes in. Air highlights. few ideas of hair there, hair highlights. Shape, slight shoulder shape in. I'll leave the shoulders the same color as the background. Face! <laughs> a quick hour face. I think I need to do a little bit more finessing under here. We're going to get a little bit. Looking a little too much like a mustache. A little too dark. Lightening up along this or edge. A bit of light there. There you go. Portrait practice. Uh, so we'll see uh, if I can do it again next week. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out about music, I'm trying to get a little bit of music to keep us entertained and keep the flow going. And I want to get a timer. So I'd like to keep doing one hour studies. I think that a one hour study can be a really great thing for quickly advancing your skill. And, and growing your confidence. I mean, I could stand here all day and keep working on this and keep, you know, it's like when I look at it, I'm like, okay, I see, I see I could do a little, little shaping here on this eyebrow but it's really about you know working quickly I could fix this and this is just me I always around but giving yourself a good time deadline helps you have to look at the whole thing a lot more frequently and that's another reason to get a timer so I'm gonna look into trying to buy a timer or maybe find some kind of digital timer um, so that you can have a beep every 15 minutes so that way you know okay the first 15 minutes is up i need to you know get myself 
working on the next section. So like by the first 15 minutes, I've got the basic outline in place. Then the second 15 minutes, we can start doing some shading. And, you know, if you can get those done that quickly, then you got half an hour to start, you know, messing with actual eye folds and eye shapes, getting those things in place. So I'm going to try to get a timer to make it a little bit more structured, more structured sort of painting practice. It seems like too much pressure. Well, I mean, you can start out doing an hour and a half and work your way towards an hour, but the main thing about working quickly is really getting those, you know, getting your confidence and getting your practice out of the way. So, you know, I wouldn't say that this is my best painting ever. I wouldn't consider it in my top 50 paintings ever. And, you know, one of the goals really of doing these is to get 50 paintings done to get those paintings out of the way so that you can move on to, you know, making some more finished, better pieces. And uh, this, is, this is how I learned. So I think that even though it seems challenging and it seems hard, getting yourself to just do it, don't think about it. And, you know, like with my oil painting sketchbook, you know, if you don't want to waste canvases on your practice, you can get one of these sketchbooks and, you know, set it up for oil painting so you can just do your practice in these. And that way, you know, you don't have to spend as much money on canvases and stuff. And then, then you're just using a sketchbook. You just ordered a little sketchbook? That's good. Well, there you go. And some gouache. Well, you're getting ready. Maybe I'll have to try doing a gouache one, one of these times. Um, so we can, we can do it. I was thinking about, um, I mean, depending on what you guys want to do, if you want to keep working on portraits or I could do still life or landscape as well. But I was thinking that the high res photos that I give to my patrons, I think for these one hour studies, I'm going to start using those so that if you want to paint along, and you're a patron, then you will have access to the photo. You've never tried gouache? You might like it better than watercolor. It's really similar to watercolor that the way that it, you can, you know, make it a wash or not, but it also has that really nice opaque quality to it. So the finished piece can look a little bit more like a oil or acrylic type of painting rather than wishy-washy watercolors, which, you know, sometimes that's what you're looking for is a nice, soft, lighter uh, approach. So it just depends on what you're looking for, really. But thank you guys for hanging out. It was good, good to see you. Good to try it out here on Twitch. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and hopefully you can learn something. Uh, so I'm going to try it again. I have to check my schedule, um, but I'm going to shoot for Friday. I'm going to shoot for doing it again on Friday. So if you can be here next Friday morning, we'll do another one-hour study. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.